what do Republicans have to do? Put on the other side of the aisle cap for us. What do they have to do to sell this heading into the new year? You know, I don't think there's any way they can sell this. Um, you know, facts are stubborn things, as a former president used to say. And the fact about this tax bill is, number one, it overwhelmingly benefits the wealthiest among us. Number two, by the time it's fully phased in, everybody earning up to $75,000 a year will have a tax increase. That's going to be hard to spin. Second, it is all reliant on borrowed money, most of it from the Chinese, because as you know, they didn't pay for this tax cut. Even though the economy is strong, unemployment's the lowest it's been uh, in many years. And so still, you don't buy this instead argument, of paying Senator, for this bill, you don't they buy this argument, money. Senator, that, that, that they're going to grow the economy, that economic growth is going to be able to pay for this. You don't buy that, is what, is what I'm hearing you say. Well, there's no way it's going to happen. Look, we were heard this siren song once before in the George W. Bush administration. You'll recall he came in, proposed big tax cuts, said it would uh, grow the economy, said it would uh, provide for tremendous economic benefits. By the end of his term, we were on the brink of a depression. Has everyone forgotten that? I mean, you know, history teaches us lessons. And one lesson it teaches us is that tax cuts can give some short-term lift to the economy, but if we are not offset, if they're not paid for, and we already have too much debt, which is our circumstance today, as you know, we have a $20 trillion national debt. That's over 100% of our gross domestic product, and they have just added to it. Most economists say you'll get a short-term lift, but long-term, it actually hurts economic growth when you're borrowing the money. Yeah. Uh, Laura Curtis, we just heard from, from the former Senator Conrad about national debt. Uh, you know, I asked the question to you about where exactly that's going to be uh, in terms of an issue for Republicans. What do you make of that? And if you have a question, feel free to ask it. Well, sure. I, I have a question for the senator um, about, about Democrats in Congress. You know, if you have any advice for them on how they can um, get their message out uh, better ahead of the midterm elections. Uh, my strong advice to Democrats is that politics for our party is all about the economy. Uh, what are we going to do to foster economic growth? And I would go back to something you were talking about, and that's infrastructure. I think the most positive thing that could be done in Washington today is to have a significant infrastructure package to rebuild roads, bridges, airports, uh, our schools. Everywhere you look in our country, we have a tremendous infrastructure deficit. Unfortunately, how are you going to pay for it? Because now the Republicans have adopted a budget over the next 10 years that's going to add about $10 trillion to the national debt, a debt that is already $20 trillion. Again, I emphasize that's over 100 percent of the gross domestic product. We've never had debts this high since the end of World War II. Senator uh, Conrad, that has less than enormous a how, how, what, yeah. let, me, let me ask you this. Should Democrats deal with President Trump? Should they deal with this administration and actually try to get something done on infrastructure this year? Because it looks like, by all accounts, a lot of Republicans are, are saying, hey, wait a minute, they agree with you, Senator. They're saying, we don't want to pay for this. So should Democrats deal with President Trump on infrastructure? Your take. I think Democrats should always uh, work with the president of uh, whoever that president is to advance the interest of the country. And clearly, an infrastructure package for America is in the interest of the nation. So, yes, I think Democrats absolutely should work with the president wherever they can to advance a positive agenda for the country.